Hello, this is Pat Cahill from Pat Cahill Metalworks, and today we're going to embellish the box top that we finished in the last episode. And sorry, this is coming out a little later than I had hoped because I started thinking, well, maybe I'll make like a little flower arrangement on the box like that, and then you know, top it off with a pearl. Something like that. And I just didn't like it. I don't know what to tell you. I just, I just, it's just, it's not floating my boat, as they say. So, I had to scrap that idea. I'll use this maybe on something else, or maybe not. I don't know. I don't really like the look. It can be used in components for another thing that is, is more involved. Um, then I'll be happy with it. Right now it just looks kind of, I don't know. It just, I just wasn't feeling it. So I stopped that and tried to understand what I was going to do with this box. Put that aside. And I came up uh, with what I've done with other boxes. Here, let me get one out. And that is doing like a zodiac or some sort of um, astrological constellation and use that as the embellishment on the top. So if you look at this one, and let me see if you can, yeah, you can see it. So it's basically the Big Dipper. And I use these little gold balls, and I'll show you how to do this. Ball them up, and that's the stars of the Dipper. And this is the North Star up here. Well, I'm not going to do the, the dipper, the little dipper with the North Star this time. What I am going to do is Orion, uh, the constellation of Orion. So what you do is you can get that online anywhere and print it out. There's Orion with Orion's belt right there. And we're just going to use that as our template for making the holes for beating up the gold wire and you'll see how that all goes. One thing I, I um, be careful about is that you want it as you know as much of the box as possible so spread out I think it gives you that you know so it's in scale with the box but remember that the top it's quite a bit bigger than the bottom. You might not think it's that much bigger, and it's not that much bigger, but it is bigger. And if you get too close, you're actually going to be hitting this point, and your box just won't fit. So be careful with that. Don't get greedy trying to make it as big as possible. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue that down using just a little bit of glue stick. And I'll move it around to where I think it should be. I think that's good. So that's where we're going to go. And then we will want to, because we're going to be drilling holes in it, we're going to need to make little marks in it. And don't use your center punch hole. That, that's a center punch tool. It's just much too violent for, for the box. Just use a, a scribe. And Take your time and center of the hole and give it a good poke. And go around and do that for every every star. Just like that. And I'll finish this off camera and I'll get set up for the next step, which is balling up the gold on one side before we get ready to put it onto the box itself. So I'll see ya in a minute. Oh, oh before we do the um, balling up of the, of the gold wire, might as well just get these holes in there now. Now, so, a very small drill bit I'm using uh, 0.006 drill bit, and we'll just take our time and go around and drilling each one of the little spots we uh, marked. You definitely do want to uh, um, poke it with the scribe. It gives the, um, the 
drill bit a place to start. If you just went with the pitcher and tried to go straight in, you could very easily um, skitter a bit. So it's best to start with a little indentation. And so I'm just going to go around and I'd like to be as, as vertical as possible, but in this case it's just not as necessary as it is if you're going to be setting a diamond or something. Then you really need to be careful about the verticality of the, uh, the flex shaft and the hole. So that's all there is to that. Okay, so we're done with the holes. We'll peel this back. And there are our holes. You won't be able to see them very well, but there they are. So let me get set up for um, for balling up the gold wire. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got it set up here. I just lit my torch, and you want a real fine. I'm using a, a four torch head oops went out and these aren't very yeah there we go I think my oxygen is really on there we go we want a really 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 fine there just about like that I don't know, maybe if I turn off the light, you see it. It's just, just really, really small. And then, take your wire that you're going to ball up. Hold it with tweezers. And just get right there. Ball it up, that's it. And you can do this really, really quickly. You can do hundreds of these things. So if you're going to do that, give yourself a little bowl of water quenching thing. I don't think I have one right here. I'll just throw that there. And I'm going to make sure that you saw that as much as possible. Bring that up. Again, get your wire, hold it with tweezers, steady yourself, use something to steady your elbow with, and just bring it down, and it balls right up. And if you're smart, you do two ends at the same time and then cut it off in the middle and use it. So there we go. Both ends, both balled up nicely. And it's very quick, it's quite easy. You can get, if you get in a groove, you can do, do this, hundreds of these things in like a little factory line. So that's balling up, and then we'll get to the next stage of balling it up on here. That's a little bit trickier because we have to make sure that uh, we have the right length so it balls up right to the top and it doesn't, doesn't wobble around too much. So let me get that set up and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're all set up to uh, start putting these on the box. So here's the box, and I just, you know, it's kind of like threading a needle here, so just put them in, plop them in. I'm going to go plop them in the inside and ball up on the outside. So. And one thing you want to do is to um, make them so that they're all going to be the same sort of similar ball size. And you also want to ball up all the gold on this side. Can you see that? So I've set this up and set it up nice and high so you can see. And 
straight. There's one guy I don't like. Yeah, he's fine. Okay, what I want to do here is I want to cut these all off so they're the right length. And you kind of determine that by a little trial and error. Okay. Some of these are going to be so close to one another. I'm going to have to be careful. I'm not sure what can go wrong, but whatever can, will. Not always. I'm not that pessimistic. Okay, so we got that all set up. Don't see if... Maybe there's a better way. I want to cut here and try to get my camera maybe level with this so you see what's going on. So I'll be right back. Well, I don't know if this is any better, but let's try. My nice tight flame again. You want it up high so you can get under it. And pull it up. Right up to the top. There we go. I don't know how this is going to look on the camera, but they're all balled up now. And so let me, um, don't grab this, it's pretty hot. Uh, let me uh, get this all ready and I'll show you how it all ended up. I'll be right back. Okay, so here we have it. Nice little hexagon box with uh, sort of the Orion constellation on the top in 18 karat gold wire balled up. It turned out quite nice. See the inside? Fits together quite nicely. Secure. And you'll notice that when you pop it up and down, there's not a lot of play in the, there's a little bit, but not much play in, in the balls. That's good, you want that. Now, so this is a quick little video to show you one way of embellishing something. Now this can be used for, it doesn't have to be used for boxes, it can be used for pendants, pendants, or uh, I don't know, brooches, anything. Um, and it doesn't need to be, it can be any design you want. Really, it's just a technique of using gold wire that you ball up in some sort of pattern. And the pattern can be anything. It could be a dog. It could be, uh, well, just whatever you want it. It's your world. There you go. So, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you again sometime. Goodbye. <laughs>